Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you're going to install ControlNet with automatic web UI on Stable Diffusion 1.5. So this assumes that you've already got Stable Diffusion 1.5 installed. So the first thing is there's going to be links in the description of this video and in the article where I'm posting this. First thing you go to is Miku Bill's SD Web UI Control Net. Copy the URL. Go to the Extensions tab. Install from URL. Copy it in there and hit Install. It's going to say it's already installed because technically I've already got it. So after it completes, it'll say completed at the bottom here. And then we're going to go to Installed. Uh, then you're going to do Apply and Restart. You don't need to select it because you just installed it. And then if you go into the Stable Diffusion Web UI here, and you go down to Extensions, you will see SD Web UI Control Net. Now there's something else that we're going to need here. Quickly, I'll show you how to do that. You can come over to the Alleys page. I'm going to have a link for this as well. Download, click the next one, download, and so on through all the different models. Open Pose is the one you want for the Open Pose, which is what we're going to cover. And then download, right? We're going to get all of them. If you come back over to the Control Net and then into Models, so I'm just going to take these ones I already downloaded or cut and paste, whatever. I know I did that quite quickly, but just to recap, so we went to the Extensions tab, we went to Install from URL, we used the URL from the GitHub, and then we shove that in here, we click Install. Once it's completed, you'll come to Install and Apply and Restart. You're going to want to have these, and you get them from this model page, all right? And then in a second, I'll show you how that's actually going to work for you. There's also the Open Pose Editor, which I do recommend. Same process. You hit Control C, copy the URL, go to the extensions, go to Install from URL, paste it in, click Install. I've already done it. Go to Install. There it is, Open Pose Editor. All right. Now, I've already got it, so you would hit Apply and Restart if you've just installed it. Open Pose Editor is here. As you can see, we can move stuff around. All right. Also, you can change this up to 2048. So you want to do like super widescreen stuff and have just like a person with a big old background. You can do whatever you want. All right. You can have 2048 here as well. And don't forget, if you wanted, you could have a second guy, got like a shootout type situation going on now. I think you can see where I'm going with that. Right. So it's really simple. Um, you know, now we can save that PNG actually. Um, you can save the JSONs and then you can load the JSONs. So, for example, some of the ones I'm giving out, they actually have multiple people, all right, so that you can reposition them. Got three here, so obviously you'd make the canvas bigger, move them around, repose them, add another guy. Um, and there are now hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of poses up on Civit now. So it's very easy to just download a shitload of these and then customize away for whatever it is you want to do with them. But getting back to the actual usage, okay? And open and also open pose is just one of many components in control net. I'm not going to cover them all. Experiment. There's other tutorials out there. I just wanted to show you how to get up and running. So if we now go back to text to image and you can use image to image, but we're going to look at text to image. It's still here down at the bottom. There's your control net there. So if we go to text to image we can put in uh, a woman standing. We've got a 1.5 model. At the moment, it only supports 1.5, but hopefully it will support 2.1 in future. But that is up to the author. I'm just going to quickly change it to a quick sampler. I don't need to do anything else. Go here. Select open pose. I'm going to throw in that and hit, hit enable. That's all you need to do. Select one of the pre-trained. Hit enable. And go. And it's using our pre-trained model there. Seems to have ignored the other person, but that's okay. For whatever reason, it doesn't want to do that. Now, obviously, if you've got like a specific model you want to use, like we could use Dream Shaper for this one. So we'll just wait for this uh, to load up. There we go. And hit that. Two people. I think maybe because I didn't say, maybe if I say two women, say it's not picking it up, make it bigger. And we'll go in here. And we're coming to the end of this tutorial now, okay? Because I've pretty much showed you how to get it set up and how to use it. Like I said, roll back the video and watch it again if you need to uh, figure out what the hell I was going on about. We did go pretty quick. But essentially, it's... You've also learned how to install any extension. Most extensions install in the same way. The uh, pre-trained models are going to be very useful for you. And I showed you where to put them, okay? They go into the extensions, control net, 
models folder and like i said you can you can download those from civet ai um you can make your own as well the instructions are actually uh, shown on this github page of how to make them so here we have the extraction extraction methods here all right so if you wanted to do it yourself you can do it yourself you don't need to download anything it's just saving you a bit of time there we go it's actually picking up both figures now all right now obviously if i added a bit more so i could add like i don't know scenario using the dynamic prompts i've got a bunch of text files and one of them is called scenario it's just got a bunch of scenarios you could also enhance the image with uh i don't know danger hawk in fact danger mouse is probably the one i want to go 1.5 with so i'm up weighting the negative to make it more powerful there and bearing in mind this is just a 512 gen it's not upscaled or anything so there we go we've got <laughs> perspective is always a bit of a challenge that is how you install the control net and how you use the open pose there are obviously many different features here if we take a look here we can see this is canny this is the depth this is hed and also while we're on the subject what you can do settings and control net and it says here multi control net models now you could have two or up to ten let's show you three all right so we'll go apply and then we'll restart now bear in mind restarting this doesn't actually do it you have to stop it and start it again okay and then when it's started restart the web ui and then what will happen is because we put it on three you'll now have three sections for your control net so it'll literally go through each of them in turn so you can use different control net modules one two three i'm not going to show you how i'm just going to show you how you set it up because you have to mess around with that yourself. You've got to have your own sort of design and your own plan and you need assets to put in them all. I haven't got those to show you right now. I'm just literally trying to help people to set up open pose. So this was the short version of the video. All right. The long version of the video will show me and a friend going through a bunch of open poses, editing the poses, changing the prompts, using different negatives and different models to try and get different effects out of a LoRa stack. So that'll be a model with like three LoRas on top and then balancing them all out. So if you're interested in that, there'll be a link in the description of this video for the long version, which has got a lot more detail and we have a bit of fun messing around with that workflow. So if you're into this, it's probably going to have a bunch of interesting techniques and tricks for you. But uh, this will be the short version, so thank you very much. Uh, before I disappear, I'll just show you this now. So restart that. Now if I come down to here, you'll notice that we've got one, two three or rather zero because we always start an array at zero now remember you always gotta put enable and pick from the list now obviously your mileage may vary so it's up to you how you use this but you know you could do something like canny then you could do something like uh open pose then you could do something like depth okay and then it's going to basically do it's going to go zero, one, two, and you can have up to 10. So just make sure you hit enable in every single one and make sure you actually drop something in there. And that will now work when you hit, when you put your prompt in, it's going to do its best to use canny for the first image you put in there. So it'll probably make, uh, if you put something like this in, it's going to try and make something like this and then open pose so then it's going to see the skeleton it's going to try and do that you might have to do that one first actually and then finally depth and that's going to give it like you know there you go but like i said that's complicated it's advanced use you got to figure that out so thanks for watching and uh the long version is in the description so anyway i'll see you in the next one okay so where were we oh yeah that's right so i may as well just qu quickly say Welcome, welcome, everybody. We're doing a little bit of a demonstration when it comes to these open poses. So um, first, discussion. yeah, I'm just going to say here is Jaff, my good friend, or one of many of them. What's up, man? How you been? How you been? I've been good. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Uh, and like I said, I've just been showing him this pose system, and he's been coming up with some ideas, and I've been laying them down. So we're going to take high res off so we've got some nice quick generations uh just to give people a quick idea of what's going on here we got my negative prompts here 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 and here we've got desert because the uh space war generally makes a lot of desert scenes we don't want desert scenes we got monochrome because i don't want black and white so they're in my negatives 
I'm using Laura Crazy Expressions to enhance the eyes, okay? And I'm using Space War, which is a new Laura, and Howl's Moving Castle Interior, because it makes really nice scenes in the sort of Ghibli style. Okay. So you kind of have like a set of internal castle interiors that, that you're pulling from. Uh, I'm pulling from Howl's Moving Castle Interior, which makes really nice yeah. scenery from the okay. anime Howl's Moving Castle. It's the same style. Okay, that was made by that was made by another friend of mine. So basically, uh, he made this today, and I was doing some demo images for a review I was going to do, and then I started injecting my Space War characters because there's no characters in that model; it's just scenery, yeah, castles and interiors. So I was like, hey, I could use a Laura stack, which is where you take many Lauras. Uh, they are uh, basically a fine tune you can lay on top. Yeah. I'm using Dream Shaper because that is a nice anime model that I use. It's a great, great anime model. We're using low angle at the beginning. We're forcing anime with a weight of one. We're saying group of Space War soldier. So we get multiple soldiers, but very, very low, like 0.2. Uh, the network yeah. strength is also 0.2 because they're quite sci-fi. And obviously you turn it down and they turn into the style. They've still got kind of crazy helmets on, yeah. but that's okay. Um, so we soldiers, with, yep. We should start with the problem that we were having earlier with the the perspective. We were putting in the model. Oh yeah, well. And then that was the problem we were having. I think what we'll do is, if I just quickly go back and just yeah. show people a quick slide, like I'll just show people what we were yeah. doing, and then we can pick yeah. up from there. So, um, uh, let's see. So when I first started out. I was making images like this. So that's Space War. Pretty sweet, yeah. And you okay. Had desert, like, you had to remove that from it. Yeah, I had, that's why I've said no desert. And that's why I turned the strength down, because they're very sci-fi. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, this is a new Laura, which I'm going to be releasing today. Uh, as I turned things down, we even got a... We did get a moving castle, but it was super sci-fi. Okay. <laughs> um, so I kept turning them down. And um, then we managed to get to here. Again, I like the image, but it, we're starting to get the scenery and the anime style now. Before, it was almost like a photo. It's still not anime enough. So I just kept going, kept tweaking things. And here, we still have quite a photorealistic look. Okay. But you can see how it's starting to bring in the house moving castle scenery elements a little bit more every time i'm changing and tweaking we get to here and now we're definitely in anime world yeah it's definitely definitely looking like anime now um and so each iteration i'm like changing the weight reducing the weight uh we get to here and now it still looks very sci-fi so i'm going to start reducing the weight of space war Quite a good gun here, actually. I was quite surprised with that. Yeah, they don't usually do guns very well. On no, they, they don't. Well, this is a really refined uh, Space War is like a sixth or seventh generation model. Where I, when I right. say that, what I mean is I've used it to generate work, which I have then taken out the bad images or edited them man by hand and then retrained it again. And then I've repeated that process six times through six different yeah. models. Yeah, to get to where we're at now, which is like quite slick um uh uh yeah and so anyway this that that could be and that could be a ghibli anime i mean damn you know like Real quick, what was the what was the model was it just the front guy that was the model the model the model that we're using is dream shaper which is a really good model okay Sorry, I'm not... i meant the stick figure the, the skeleton was it just that front guy that oh, was... oh 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 yeah the, 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 the stick figures um <laughs> Uh, I think this is for Mystery Lady, okay? okay. So, so that'll be two dancers near each other, <laughs> okay? And we fed it into, obviously, because the it, 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 it interprets the skeletons like a silhouette, but yeah, I will have... We should show them that. We, show them this we will get there. We're getting there. I just yeah. want to go through these images to show the process. Like this, imagine a pole coming right. down here, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And that's that's basically how we got this position. But they they're good positions, you know. So this is actually JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. 
So this would probably be uh, Jojo, and this is probably like the Dio, because it would be from season one when they were buddy buddy. Oh, that one's kick ass. <laughs> I don't know what that is. He's got like a radar <laughs> rifle. I don't know why. Yeah, but the thing is, if I go in Photoshop, I can actually just select this and remove it. It's really not a problem to have extra stuff anymore. Super easy to get rid of. Um, um, in fact, do you know what? Let's just look. See, there's wow. some of my actresses. Don't worry, they're all covered up. They're all fine. Um, let's get that actual image. So here's the here's the image I was just talking about. Okay, and uh, so, so no, we don't want to do crop. We don't want to do we don't want to do crop. Go away. We're not doing crop. We're doing this one, right? So what what? Check this out. If I just go cloud like that, and I did a pretty good job, right? What? No freaking way. Yeah, I know, right? There we go. That's that one's gone. Damn. That's that one. Wait for it. That's that one gone. Wow. Let's say we don't want this one here. It's gonna. Oh, they did leave a little bit of something there, but I think that's okay. And you know what? For a sec, for like literally for a few seconds, that could be like a little radar antenna that's sticking off the mountain for all we know. Um, for a, for a couple seconds, that's slick. It's done. And you could say, oh, well, there's still a bit of a thing here. Yeah, I can see it. It can see it. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and like I said, you can still do all the usual stuff. And, and, and also, look, check this out. Select that. There he is. Right? So you can still do all your compositing stuff if you want. And uh, and again, if I was like, oh, that doesn't actually. I wanted to uh, have, um, it's not letting me do it. I don't want to use the move tool. See, I want to get this on here. Ah, uh, here we go. Got it. See, this is like time consuming, so I very rarely do that. You see how it just added that straight in for me? Mm. So now his legs are part of it. Uh, is, did it miss anything else? Ah, and then also say I didn't want this bit here. So I can just do this. And then it's messed up the clouds up here. Right. So I can just come in. And I don't have to be precise about it either. It's close enough. As long as it'll figure it out for the most part. There we go. And is there anything else obvious? I think that is basically the silhouette. Ah! Haha. <laughs> Bit of detail for people to be like, oh, so you can even. There we go. See, it's totally fine. You can, in fact, there. Do you know what? Attention to detail. He's just a little chubby. There we go. <laughs> so then we'll control C, control N. Trimming off a few there times. he is. And now we can animate him. What's it going? What's what's doing? What what's doing, boys? I'm I'm I'm, I'm animated now. Kinda. <laughs> Obviously, you'd have to do something with that. But yeah. So uh, let's get rid of that for now. So yeah, it's super easy. Uh, like I said, just to remind you what it looked like before, after, wait, after. There we go. So yeah, you can tidy it up real fast. So, and what I've been doing is I've been grading the image afterwards and then retraining it back into another model. So then there's no extra stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, cause the thing is, it's my art that was doing it in the first place. I mean, I am using somebody else's backgrounds for this one. You normally, I use all my own stuff, but this isn't what I'm doing right now. I'm just making demos, but yeah, like I said, this is actually super clean. Um, 
so like you know when i mean grading obviously it's the obvious stuff you know what i mean like oh uh uh levels where are we so we'll do a bit of that we'll do a bit of that we'll do a bit of don't want to make it too contrasty um and then like anybody watching this is probably like yeah 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 we know about photoshop all right <laughs> we know about photoshop get back to the ai stuff I'm like, all right all right jeez i'm already forgetting my ideas <laughs> yeah i know right get back to the get back to the fight god all these ads man it's not an adobe ad right so yeah we'll go back to this so basically, um, you could, you could like cut that so it's like a thirty second. Extra. Yeah, we'll just we'll I'll cut that cut that out. Yeah, cut that out. <laughs> just like it's a word to my editor. Cut that out. So yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, and then like I said, we kept increasing the um, the power of the background and decreasing the influence of the sci-fi. So there's still still quite sci-fi. All right. I don't think the problem started coming out until you started bringing up the castle. Like yeah, the well, castle. like I said, we get to this point here, and this is where I think I started talking to you, because this is what I had on my screen. I had a guy in yellow armor, but he still had the space type helmet. <laughs> it's quite strong. <laughs> His helmet's quite a strong influence there. And then from that, yeah. if you remember, yeah. <laughs> do you remember, I remember what? That one. Yeah, let's see if we can find what that skeleton was for people, so they can have a little chuckle. So if I go to the um, mystery lady exotic dance pose helper, I should be able to find the pose that was used to generate this image. Now there are two hundred and two of them. You're gonna you're gonna want at least uh, at least a bunch of singles for this one. Hmm. Well, the thing is, I've actually got some really singles. Well, I want to show people what we are doing. So I believe. What do you call it's this one, one pound bills? yeah what do you call one pound bills i believe it's this one but it might be a it yeah. might be one where where one is sitting down and the other is standing up it might be a different slightly different one. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah it's this one here that's the one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah yeah that's the one so all right so what we've got is i've just, i've made this pack you can download it okay it's uh there's 202 skeletons all right <clears throat> And uh, what we've done is we've just literally put that in and there's a slight different prompt, but <clears throat> there he is. <clears throat> Haven't got the face fix in on this one yet, though. So like I said, there's all these tweaks, basically. And uh, giant people, so. yeah, well, it's, it doesn't do perspective so good, but it's trying. You know what I mean? It's trying. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There's a giant lady. A giant lady with her leg over the wall. She's and the, the soldiers are like, what the hell planet have we landed on? <laughs> they're, not sure, they're not sure whether they're happy or scared. Yeah, they're like, uh, we found a castle, but this is weird, yeah. And then here we go again with the JoJo, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. This would be from Stardust Crusaders. So we've got the four characters lined up. And somehow we've still got our space war yeah. scouts like, what the hell? gone into gulliver's travels you know and they're still giant still giant here we have dio and uh yeah 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 dio and jojo i think another couple of pictures from now we were trying really hard not to make them giant like, yeah we were we were we were trying to because the thing is these guys are close and then the castle is far away so it's fine you'll get away with it uh and then i was starting to do sort of like scenes and i think we ended up with this one which was quite cool that was yeah that was pretty cool <coughs> We kind of we didn't save all the ones that were like messed up. Nah, a lot of these ah here we go now we're gonna get into the the stuff that we were messing with so we yeah, decided to get here's our, another pole dancing lady however she is yeah. climbing this wall well he is now because yeah. you know yeah so now he's and trying to another giant another giant climbing another giant he's trying to climb but as you can see it's like he's he's giant climbing the yeah because <laughs> perspective tricks it's starting to be yeah. a bit crazy <laughs> about when I came up with the idea of changing the size of the of the skeletons in the actual image, like reducing the size. That's right. Because this yeah. wasn't working. We tried. Oh, you said bird's eye one. view. Yeah. So that was the last one. We messed with bird's eye view. You didn't save that one that 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 you first generated. That was a success. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> like got bird's eye view. 
And then we've kind of got, like, he's kind of falling. Yeah. Uh, it looks like he's kind of trying to jump over a castle or something. I, I like this one. This one looked pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool, yeah. And then it started getting a bit weird, so we turned the, turned the mouth off. And then we got this guy, which was super cool. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That guy came out really nice. <clears throat> Um, which is quite surprising, actually. That's that's full scale. <coughs> right. So he's got the space war armor somehow, and it somehow gave us a futuristic. Yeah. So he's actually character. like standing on a parapet here. So this one makes sense, but this one's like giants, just giants. giants. Yeah, most of them didn't make sense because of the perspective challenges. So that's when I started memeing again, and we got a weird. Yeah, like we got a weird Bahant banana hammock. Uh, then we got the guy. It's a, it's a them they. Okay. So he's walking off the edge. And then that's the one. That's the one. this is where we got into it. This is where we figured it out. We were like, aha. Because, of course, these pose helpers, they actually come with the JSON. What are, we, what are you doing, Windows? They come with the JSONs. And the JSON is basically a list of numbers. All right, so what we can do with that is we can load them back. So if I go to, <coughs> excuse me, if I go to the Jojo pose helper, um, I can quickly grab. Uh, I don't see what you're doing. Yeah, I know, I know. I dragged it off the screen. So I can grab myself a full body uh, pose like this one and but i won't instead of grabbing the image because we i probably would have already i've already explained how to do this in a previous clip which was part of this video so this is like you know this is happening after we've got time travel is time travel in the editing scene. yeah this is the this is the the cool trick that we're learning today yeah so now we've caught up we've this is how we managed to get this and this we're going to explain that actually reduce the size of yeah the we're going to do that now because a lot of people were confused uh and asking me questions about that a lot actually so this will be useful for people to understand so basically in the editor we have the open pose editor and just so that you know if we go to the jojo's if we go to the jojo's bizarre pose helper um, it does actually explain everything you need. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, use control net. That's the extension that we're using to use the poses open pose, which is the extension you use to edit the poses. And then it says here includes poses in JSON. So you can alter them. And that's just another, that's just another link to that. It's this, oh, wait, no, sorry. These are the pre-trained models. But like I said, I've already in the future. Before this, before this in the edit, <laughs> I've explained to them how to do all this stuff, right? Um, so essentially, we're going to show you this interface and the editor now. So go into here. Drum roll. Drum roll. So basically, this is the image that we've got. And that image started out as... This one, I think. No, it didn't. No. No, it didn't. Uh, looking for the triple. Because it's, no, there's oh, four. To make it, make it seem like you went exactly to the right spot the first try. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. So this pose started out like this. So this is how it comes in the pack. And I'm going to show you how we did this. Okay. So what we do is we go into the open pose editor. And I'm actually going to reset this. All right. And then what we're going to do is I know oh, that it, oh, it oh, is Jojo V3 15 pose. So that's the JSON that I want. Now, I can't drag it in, but I know where to find it. So if I just go to load from JSON and then scroll down to Jojo V3 15, which is that one. Yeah. But I'm going to pick the JSON. Now, for some reason, there's a bug where it makes me do it twice, but I'm sure that the person that made this amazing tool is going to fix that. Um, but at the moment, you just pick it again, and then it loads. Now, if I draw myself a little box here, I can then... You can't just, you 
Can't just click on it? No, you have because it would just move each bone individually. So let's just do something a little bit different this time. So we'll do that and then we'll scale this guy. And we're trying to mimic perspective a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So, so closer, this time I'll make, yeah, this time I'll make this guy closer. Right. And maybe cut him off at the waist. Yeah. And then we'll make this guy. Whoops. Let's make him a giant in the background. A giant? No, 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 no. Like, no, no. Put his, put his, his only his I'll put him there like that, and then what we'll do is we'll make this guy a little bit bigger, but drop him down like before. Okay. I reckon like that. What do you reckon? That's hey, that's fine. If we're just just demonstrating, it doesn't really matter though. No, it doesn't. I, actually, I'll take that left guy and put him put him higher and make him way smaller. So this guy. That's the right. Uh, the left guy. What well, this one? The left guy. Put him higher. That's not the left guy. That's the. Oh right. Okay. You meant this. The leftmost yeah, guy. Like that. Him higher and then make him really tall. Oh god! If you make him too small, you just won't be able to make him out. <laughs> I think that should work. That should work. Yeah. Give I don't know. Maybe this guy needs to be a bit taller. I'm just thinking about the lines, the perspective here. It's a bit we tricky. Gotta, we gotta, we gotta play with the limits, you know. Mm -hmm. the limits are. So then what I'm going to do is save to PNG. It's going to be down in my little thing. You might not be able to see that because of the border. It's 46. So if I go back to text to image, <clears throat> just to run through this real quick, we've got all my negatives, monochrome, negative desert. We've explained all that. We've got the Laura stack. We've got the expressions with the crazy eyes because it enhances it. We've got space war on a low strength. We've got Laura's castle at full. Okay, so this is... There we go. And we got soldiers standing in front of castle. I could say soldiers. Yeah, yeah. And then low angle group of. You just want one of them to be soldier. I don't know how that's well. We'll have to see what happens, won't we? So I'm going to change the seed and uh, we're just going to run this one again. In fact, no, we'll just we'll do the one that we just made. It's fine. The one we're on right now, there's only yeah. two soldiers. The other two aren't soldiers. Well, we don't know that. We can't tell. They've got crazy <laughs> helmets. We don't know that. That could be some kind of overcoat. Uh, so anyway. Well, I guess they do have the same cape as the guys in the front. Mm. Oh, look. Yes, yeah, totally like works. Up on top of a wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Higher. Yep. Kind of looking up a hill. Now, we've got this set to speed. So literally seven steps. It takes, let's have a look here, 25 seconds it took to do that. So it's not going to be, you know, the most highly detailed image, but we can set that seed to say, I say, oh, I like this. Yeah. So I can yeah. take this and then what I can do is I can generate a new one. Now, what if I wanted to make this character move a bit closer? So here we go. While it's generating that image, we'll go back to the poses and we're going to do that and that. Okay. Make him move a little bit further. And then we'll take, oh, got a bit of an issue. His knees went off the edge. It's okay though. Like that. And yeah, we'll leave that guy alone. So that should make him go a bit closer. Um, yeah. So then we'll save the PNG there. Close. Come back. So it's finished doing this image. Oh, we didn't, I didn't check high res because I'm a genius. There we go. You're a very stable genius. Yeah. Unstable genius. Okay, so if we go like this, <laughs> let's very try this. Unstable diffusion genius. <laughs> unstable, unstable diffusion is uh, an interesting one, that is. It's all sexy all the time. Okay, so let's just make this guy move even further towards this guy. And maybe make this guy move a little bit that way. Just little changes. So now I've got 46, 47, 48. Now, do you know what I mean? I could have just moved his arm, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you can be quite expressive, if you, but... If you keep the seed, you could actually animate that. Well, if you wanted 
if you the thing is you have to have a really tight model for the clothing otherwise it's going to change and you'll see what i mean because we're not actually specifying what we want in the image we're just getting what we're given see if we put more description in here like and also if we trained a special model which had the uniform you know so it only makes a dude with a specific uniform do you know what i mean um That's then yeah, then then you could you could you could you could do it. And to be honest, if you look down here at the bottom, it has control net M to M, which wants a video. Oh. So it's it's already there. Do you know what I mean? You don't yeah. probably don't even need this to do that. Um, I haven't really messed with that yet, but right now I'm just trying to push this because I think this is super. Like, if you want to make a graphic novel, you know um it's pretty easy to do if you have like uh because you can design your own characters and make a real tight model but anyway so i think this is 45 so if i chuck 46 no no that's 46 so if i put 47 in there look it's slightly moved and i'm not going to do the full high res for this one because i want to make it snappy yeah. see i just want to show people that you know you can get nice quality you know what I mean? It's already looking uh, good. It's already looking great. You know, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to keep the seed the same. But I don't really know what's going to happen. Like you have to just try it out. It might radically change everything because we moved this guy. <laughs> I'm hoping no, it doesn't, it, but it might. But this, because the seed seed would have a completely different outcome with different inputs. Well, yeah, because, you know, we're asking like we haven't changed the words. And we haven't changed the seed, but we have changed this, which is going to have an impact. It will have. Butterfly so. effect. But look at that. That is not bad. Not bad at all. Got a bit of a blur effect on the distance there. Um, and these guys are clearly having some kind of wistful conversation. Okay. They look, look, that, I mean, I would assume they're on the same team, at least, you know, it's, it's not like 100%, but it's not. The front's about to get killed. <laughs> yeah this is the it always was meme like, he's like wait but the sorcerer is evil <laughs> and he's like always has been he's about to exactly. execute him <laughs> so here we go so we've moved him slightly let's see what happens i honestly don't know right. oh oh it's changed pretty it's much. changed a lot but then this is partly because there's a lot of variety. This space war is a big, it's a lot of variety in this. Right. And also I'm using mostly strength from this. Um, and also I'm using a big model here. So you could use a tight model for this. Our, our left model disappeared though. What yeah, he's happened? turned into a bag or something. Look, he's turned into a box. <laughs> what happened to him? Okay, so well, let's go be, for the next one. So this uh, is, seems like a limiting factor. So yeah, well, it's it's like I say, it's it's partly um, a lot of things. <laughs> I think we might have got him back. Did we get him back? Maybe we'll see what happens. Oh, he's still a dude. Is he going to stay a dude, or is he going to yeah, turn back into a box back. again? I see a shirt. Oh wow! Look, we've got a completely different faction oh. now. That's crazy. It's like French now. <laughs> But like I said, if you had um, a type, what yeah, I say, I call them tight models. Oh, yeah, do. Yeah, 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 right. If, if it, I call them tight models because they have less images in them. So if you had a tight model here, a tight model here and here for different things, you know, um, yeah. you can you can eat, you can more easily contain the randomness between yeah. images. Just so then yeah. you could just move his arm. One of the things that I'm noticing here is that if you wanted to, you could dictate perspective just by changing those skeletons. Like yeah. You put different <laughs> size uh, people, just like we've done. But say, say you want to top down and you want to be, say, certain guys lower. You could squish them and squash them and then make some of the guys smaller, some of the guys bigger. And you could actually dictate exactly where and what perspective you want it to be. Well, let's have some fun then. So if we go into load from JSON and we're going to go into the, uh, we're going to go into the mist. Where is it? Mystery pose helper. And we're going to go into mystery V274. There's so many, I made so many of these. 
<laughs> it was it was easy to do though thankfully uh it was a guy called scruffy he's amazing he helped out with making this tool uh he hasn't released it yet though so i'm not like going on about it but it was couldn't have done it without him you know yeah sure i did some work but he made it like a hundred times faster so um let's go in here 75 is that the one ah close enough okay cool 70, he's actually 72 but yeah i picked the wrong one in the end but that's okay this is still the same thing it's like a panel of five characters right so so do this make them all smaller first actually squish them down first yeah 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 so, like squish them down so not not like not like uh i can i can blow them up again because they're vectors so it's fine the y, change them only in the y direction so squish them down ah uh, well let me just let me just let me just let me just uh normalize them first yeah so we've got one like this one like this so i'm sure uh, some people have worked this out already but um it's just nice for people that haven't to uh, show them what they can do so we'll just get that out of the way Put this guy here okay so we've got our mystery ladies okay so you have them all in a line and they're all they're all going to be lined up. It's going to be a forward-facing perspective. Yeah. Can so I do I'm all of them at once? Ah, oh, dude, I can do them all at once. There you go. Squish them, squish them way down so like they're short. Uh huh. Okay, and then you might have to widen the, the shoulders or something. Or yeah. Well, we can widen them individually. We can widen them individually like this, like that. And just grab. Try just grabbing the upper torso and moving it, moving it over the legs. Kind of push it over the legs. What? Like this? What What do you mean? What do you mean? I can do anything I want, okay. mate. Yeah, make the, make the legs shorter than the body. Slightly. Oh, make the legs shorter than the body. So, like... So the legs are going to be underneath them, right? So like that. I don't know what you're trying to do, but... I want to see them from above. What What would the skeleton look like if you were standing above somebody and looking down? Uh, well, I suppose it might look... Well, it's a bit more complicated than just squishing them one way, isn't it? Yeah, I mean... It is, it is. Uh, but look, look, look. Let's just try to do something with what we've got because I think this is something that can be easily achieved here. So we've got all these different things going on, right? Like this. And then we've got one here. Maybe like there, maybe, and then maybe we'll just repose this one a little bit. Uh, uh, there we go. I don't know, like, it's kind of hard. I'm just trying to observe the perspective on yeah. this one. Maybe this one needs to be a bit closer. Well, actually, I'll swap these around. Put that one, like, there and make it bigger. Maybe, like, th there. Yeah. Maybe do this. And then, uh, like I said, th this is all stuff that anyone can do to taste. You know what I mean? say dance party or <laughs> got a bit of a dance party going or on yeah be like fight to the death well it could uh, be and this is one thing i want to show so if i just save that to png and then come back to text to image and throw this guy in here and then say soldiers assaulting right would you would you what would you say invading invading castle invading i don't know maybe let's try it yeah castle let's try that like a siege yeah see if it works it probably won't work but we'll try it same scene oh i didn't change the seed they're trying though look it's, it is trying wow. to do it it is they're actually trying to do it castle. they've gone back to being castle. soldiers look as well how do we how do we make two different teams though? That's that's another um, it seems like uh, they can be the same uniform. I don't know. I don't know how to do that yet. I mean, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I haven't haven't even tried it. So <clears throat> maybe we can figure that out. Let me just change the seed. Cause I'm, I'm bored of this background now. Lol. 
because there's variations within the same type of person on these, but every time we've done this, they've always had the same uniform, same outfit. Well, how about we say uh, two, two, wait, Opposing. it's actually, it's actually doing it now. There's it's pretty cool. Why do you change so these? Two men, say two men, two men, two women. Yeah, I was just wondering because sometimes if you say w women, it'll just make them all women, and some, you know what I mean, because it's a plural. Right. So it might just ignore two the man, numbers. Two man, two woman, two woman. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, two man. It could be two man, two woman. We'll soon find out. I mean, this doesn't look bad. Um, yeah, if you would... figures though, are we going to have a robot in one of them? Uh, yeah, we could try that. We could try two man, one, <laughs> one cup. One robot. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> one woman, one robot. Oh, that there's two different teams? No, never mind. No, they are. No, there isn't. <laughs> Although it has actually made, yeah. there is two men and there is two women. So it is it trying. Is it's, you know what I mean? It kind of gets yeah. it. You know what I mean? That, I mean, look, I know it's a stretch because you can barely make it out, right? But it does look like... One like, right is clearly a woman, so... Yeah, these two are, are women, 100%. Um, that, they look like dudes. Um, it looks like some video game, like some team-based video game. Um, yeah, you could probably almost, almost sell, sell a video game based on this image. <laughs> well, I think that you could, like, for promo stuff, you know when you see apps, app games, and you see promo? Oh, what's going on here? We've suddenly got... Ooh something going on here there's the robot what? robot what it's trying see what i mean it's trying to do it dude it's trying to do it that's pretty sick actually <laughs> i don't even know how it did it but it's trying to do it right uh the castle's floating it was that's okay that's that's because in this show how howl's moving castle the castle moves so that's that's normal you should just expect that <laughs> okay yeah yeah what about if I said one night, one man, one woman, soldier, well, I would get rid of soldier for now, one robot, one night, one man, one woman, one robot. Now that's going to be tricky. I don't know if it can do that. Or that. That's four out of five. So do one, one soldier now. There should only be four figures. So it's, it's inventing extra because it can draw as many oh, figures as it wants. Yeah, it's invented the fifth person. I don't know where that's come from. Because look, let's see. We got. Oh no! Wait, sorry. You're you're right. It is five. I can't count. So what are we gonna make the last one? One Shit. soldier, or no, one child. One child. I don't like doing that, but yeah, we'll say we soldier a, again. We'll say there. we'll say soldier. I try I try to stay away from that stuff because you never really know what it's gonna do. And also, I think one of these negatives has the word child in it, mother, so mother, mother, it's, it's, it's a bit complicated. I put them in with the same as zombie. So, yeah, it's a, it's a trick. But what's it done? Uh, I don't know. It's trying to do something. What? It looks like it's become part of the castle. Well, they look like they're fighting at least. Hmm. Yeah. What if I take away low angle for a sec? The guy in the front looks like he's got he's got the other guy. Got a gun. Hostage. Yeah. And then the guys up on the, on the tower are like giant robots that have been demolished. Oh. That'll be a oh well it was a woman until it turned into a robot. See, I think robot is like super powerful because of the. Because of the fact that it's it's the space war, right? Space war's got lots of robots. Uh, try, try doing um. Parenthesis. Let me. Uh, I got an idea. Robot. I got an idea. I'm just gonna take out. Space. I'm gonna take the space war out of this. Okay. And uh, keep the seed the same. So it's gonna be the same image, and uh, see what happens. See what happens there. Okay. Probably make a huge difference. As in, 
whether you're going to get a bunch of robots. Whoa. Okay, so now it's like fantasy. Okay, so wait, we've got we've got an extra person. Yeah, we do. We've got this guy. This guy is extra. Uh, yeah. That's okay. Keep going. Have I turned any of these Lauras down? No, we've gotten rid of them, so it's fine. Can we put um the each subject in its own parentheses group of parentheses one night? Yeah, we can. We can to try and sort yeah. of break them up. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. That might that might give it more um, understanding of what we want. Oh crap! One man, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One man, one. One man, one. Woman, one. Robot. What? Like, what do you want me to do? Okay. Yeah, let's give that. A might be we can wait them as well. But um, it did actually make a knight and a robot, but it's trying to. Yeah, yeah, so let's keep them separate and see what happens. That could be it, you know. Ah, <laughs> look, he's got... How has he got a Space War helmet? How have they got Space War, War helmets? <laughs> robot, man. Robot. Robot, yeah, true. Just, t just drop Robot off. Take Put, put like, fro Frog Man. <laughs> one Frog Man, yeah. One, one Pepe. <laughs> I got an idea. Let's actually give them an even weight as well. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't average it out. And while it's doing that, it's probably worth just shuffling them around again for the fun of it. Because yeah. we, we can. So remember, if you drop him off the edge, you'll lose this. I'll lose this node if I drop him off the edge. So I'll try to keep them in shot. Let's put this one over here, and then maybe this guy is running off that way. We'll make him super small, and then get this guy like up like that. Can we just put up? Can we overlap them? Uh, we can, but then they'll get confused. It gets confused when you do that. I reckon we could probably make this guy a bit bigger, though. So he's, like, kind of similar to this one. Right. Whoa. Okay, might have messed that up a bit. Yeah, I gotta move that on it. So, oh, boy. Okay. All right. Do it. Yeah, I think that Sorry. looks good. Save PNG. Save PNG. Pose uh, 50. Let's see our result from the other one. Oh, that's pretty cool. What? Yeah. They're in the water? I guess. Is that like, that's like Beta Baymax up there. At the it top does, there. right? Baymax, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drop this one in here. Got a new scene. Whoops. I don't know what I just did. I hope I didn't just overwrite everything. Nah, it's all right. Oh, interesting. Okay, so they're all facing the camera now. Whoa. Interesting. You know what? I oh, just... You in the front are... It looks like they're able to run on water with jetpacks or something. Yeah. Kind of looks like the at first it looked like the two in the front were different colors, different different uniforms, and the two in the back were chasing them. Hmm. That's what it kind of looked like. And the one on the left, um, he he the, the small one in the back he disappeared. I don't know where he went. I'm gonna put this style back on as well and see what happens, because the face thing isn't working right now. The the the, the thing, I don't know why that is, but it's not working. So I thought. Still got we've got crazy eyes. Yeah, but Crazy Eyes isn't working at all. Everyone's got sunglasses. <laughs> mm. Maybe I need to actually slam these together and they're not actually tags, because that could be a thing. Like, they're not even recognized. Um, 
It really depends what's been trained in here. Keep the faces, keep the faces, keep the faces, keep the faces. They're not keeping the faces. Ah, oh, they kept the faces! Yeah, it is, it is. It's try it is trying to keep them. Um yeah, they they were generating the guy on the top left, then he disappeared before. Yeah. See I think what I'm gonna do is switch over to a photorealistic model and I'm just gonna type photo here instead of anime. And I'm okay. just gonna just see what happens. Yeah, I like um, I probably want to put that up to one as well. What just happened? Oh, it's still preparing it, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can almost see like a horror image being generated from this one. Because they're looking at you, like they're going to creep up on you. Hmm. Of course, all. Oh, of yeah, that's do... right. We probably should not use this one because that's going to yeah. confuse it now. All and the, uh, the original... crazy eyes. Yeah, this stuff isn't going to. That's not going to fly anymore. So just chuck that out. Yeah. I was talking um, about horror, and I was just saying that all of the images from like the original. What was that first one that came out? The first, the first, first AI generator. What is that, is that underwater? Is he's it's underwater. underwater? He's underwater. He's like war he's like uh, distorted and everything. He's distorting the yeah yeah yeah. He's like a diver. Don't know where we got the water from. We got Black Widow on the left there. And usually it'll get better if you go with high res and you can put the denoise up. I've only used in 0.4 because I find it doesn't change it too much, but it'll like fix little bits. Yeah. Um, and we're pushing it here. We've got five characters. <laughs> no, wait. Yeah, Dolly. So when, when I first started generating images on Dolly, like every image I generated was like a horror image. Like it didn't matter what I typed. Everything was a horror image. Oh, God. It doesn't matter what. <laughs> yeah, whatever it was. So I, I, I just got inspired and I started forcing like like intentionally doing horror and it was I got some really creepy images. Wait, is that a mermaid? Dude, water. it's got a tail. There's a mermaid behind her. Yeah. So we've got people in diving kits. Is There's there you've got your castle. And yeah. There's a mermaid swimming up her butt. <laughs> <laughs> well I never asked. Oh wait, it's a dude, it's a frogman. The surprise look it's, on her face. Dude, it's a frog. It's a frog man. <laughs> like a frog. Marines, that's <laughs> yeah. That's oh, that's actually really funny. Um, I didn't expect it to do that at all. Okay, Peppy, right. Peppy, Peppy, Peppy. Okay, so now we're going to have a bit of fun. We'll have a bit of fun now, right? So basically, if I hit this button here, <laughs> I can use Glitch Stick, which is one of my favorite glitch ones. Uh, and then I can also use, I've got thousands of these damn things. Uh, I've been a busy boy. So, uh, let's just scroll down a bit. <laughs> uh, where are we? We'll use Wallop and we'll use, I'm missing one. Nah, most of those are for 2.1. So I'm working in 1.5 at the moment, so I can't use a lot of these, but most of them, there you go. Like got. Chaotic Spheres, Cthulhu Bishop, Cyber Angels. I've got a bunch of them, but I'm not... I'm trying to use the new stuff. So here we go, here we go. Johnson Daisu. This is like all my stuff wrapped into one. Uh, let's see. 15320 Epoch 1. We'll use that one, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, close this. Now, Johnson Daisu is all 108 of my style models in one. So that doesn't use a trigger word, all right? Um, and then Wallop style does. So if I just quickly put Wallop colon one there, and then Glitch Stick also does, I generally put that one at the beginning because it's quite strong. So Glitch Stick one like this, okay? um and i'll usually actually down well do you know what i'll show you what the effect is so let's go before we generate um oh uh, what change him to what it's just anything like change it to like policeman or uh okay how about we change it to two also? we'll say two man and two woman two well there's woman. three characters 
Yeah, yeah. Two, two women, two man, one soldier. Look, dude, it's going to be crazy anyway, so don't worry too much. Yeah, one soldier maybe? I don't know. I don't know. It might ignore the numbers, see? See, I, I was doing okay doing it like that. So maybe I'll just keep doing that. But yeah, like I say, glitch. Glitch glitch is crazy, okay? Is it done? That's done. Yeah, that's done, mate. That's 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 glitch. So glitch, right now, that's overpowered. So what I would do is I would take the glitch stick and I'd put it to like 0 0.6. And then I'd take that to like 0 0.5. Whoops, that's not a zero. Like that. And I'm going to lock the seed down so you can see what happens. So now we're going to reduce the glitch stick. And we did do some changes to this lot as well. Ooh, I forgot about one soldier needs a space, but that's okay. Interesting. See, he's trying to do some kind of fantasy stuff right now. Uh, looks like it's looks like the glitch is still too powerful. So what we'll do is we'll take the glitch down a bit more. I'm gonna halve it. Bowler hat on. Three and two five. Yeah, yeah. Is she wearing some sort of pink mask? I don't know. It looks like hair. It's it's glitched out right now, so we'll get there. Also, the other thing is that uh, these two are also too strong, so we'll put them to 0.6 and 0.6. I usually get away with 0.8 on Johnson Desu, but we'll put it down to 0.6. I just want to get an influence from each of these. I don't want them to overpower the image. And half of this is about waiting tokens. So, And also, I'm using a, a model I don't normally use as well. See, we've got some like weird stuff going on here. That uh, is really weird. So. It is. That's weird. So I'm just going to keep on reducing. Like I said, I already tweaked it. Um, it's like sneaky, uh, creepy, shadowy figures floating in the clouds. <laughs> uh, we'll find out which one it is. It's like a flying... Yeah, it's weird. We're getting some noise. I can figure it out, though. Oh, that's interesting. Is the that noise is interesting. Yeah, I mean, you could actually like upscale and downscale, and it's going to look really nice. Uh, his, head, his head popped off. Yeah. <laughs> you know those little uh, springy toys you get from uh, McDonald's? Mm. You, put the, you put the you put the thing on the stick, and then you push the button, and the head it pops off. That's that's what his head was. Just popped off. I'm going to change back to the previous pose as well. But yeah, hey, look at that. Hey, that's actually. It's, it's starting to get there, look. It's actually starting to get there. Wow. Yeah. We have some good characters now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's What's going on here? Pretty good. Um, and then how about I change... What is it? Change one of them to... Instead of soldier, because they're all soldiers, why don't I change one of them to bear? <laughs> <laughs> see what happens they all end up with bear they all end up as bears because the thing is the last thing you type is generally stronger than the rest yeah see i'm hoping that it has the inter oh oh there's <laughs> two bears no there's no they're running and maybe they're all running away from a bear right <laughs> the guy turned into a silhouette what yeah he did he's a silhouette now but i never there's no one there though they, it's just no. put that guy there I think it's because in Johnson Day Sue there is a model that produces a guy with clouds and, and he's a silhouette. Huh. There's a style that's like that. But look what it's done to the castle. It's like far away. They all look like they're running away. <laughs> um I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna just go I've got a wild card I could use here. So I'm gonna go scenario fantasy. Okay. And we're going to take away invading. Because maybe they're invading the castle. I don't know. Okay, new seed, slightly different prompts. We've changed it yeah. to this distribution. Uh, Off we go. A bear invasion. <laughs> bear invasion. Bear invasion. Well, no, it should, it should. Is that a flaming sword? Tell me that's a flaming sword. I think it is. I don't know if it will stay that way, though. Wait, yeah, it is. It is. It's, it's trying to do it. 
Yeah, it's a flaming sword. <laughs> <laughs> we got witch hunters. That's cool. Okay, so we've got one that we seem to like. So what I'll do is I'll now go high res fix, lock the seed down, and just generate again. For the best so this one's going to take a while so while it's doing that and i have got it checked let's have another look at our open poses because i do like this the workflow is nice yeah. you can stay in the loop mm -hmm. so let's find ourselves some cool um poses so mystery v2 this mystery v2 four so let's try that uh mystery v2 four Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know what I might do after this, actually, is just quickly run through the process of making a good one as well. So, mystery V2, 4, V3. Why is it the other way around, eh? V2, 4. Because L comes before V. Ah, right, true. Okay. So, look at this. This looks like a fight already. I, I just needed to adjust this so this is smaller make them all roughly the same size and Hang on. Put them i got an idea like i want the middle guy to be like facing four people from four angles so like this right. guy has got to be a bit bigger oh yeah yeah and then this one has got to be a bit bigger and then the one in the middle can stay the same do you know what i mean do you reckon that looks uh, about right no the, the two bottom ones need to be bigger and higher right and lower like that no higher like that yeah 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 higher yeah both of them and i think those two in the background are pretty close yeah that's yeah that'll, that'll work you reckon yeah i think that'll work you reckon they don't need to be a bit smaller or lower for the maybe perspective a little bit. depends on how far they, no like that maybe like this if it's like a gun battle, yeah, but if it's like an actual like melee battle, they need to be closer. Okay, well maybe I don't want to. I don't want them to overlap because it will get complicated. Can you, can you copy paste them? No, not yet. I'm hoping that they'll add stuff like that soon. You know, because that'd be really cool. Uh, do you reckon this guy could is in about the right place? Um, or could he probably. be a bit further up? Right yeah, yeah, that'll work. All right, let's it's give it a good. go. Just give it a try. Give it a blast. So this is nearly done. This is actually coming out real. Look, what are this guy? Why is he, why is he standing on this? <laughs> it looks like the guy with the flaming sword grabbed his rifle. True. It's like a kung fu it's move when you. Come here, when, I'm gonna slice your head off. It's when you when you got a, Yeah, they all look. He's got a kosh. It's all weird. Like I like is it. The guy, actually, is that guy balancing on his rifle? Yeah, he is kung fu movie style. <laughs> <laughs> He's balancing on his rifle. He looks like a witch hunter. They must be training because they're all on the same team. Look, they've got the same armor. The guy with the, the, guy with the sword ne isn't necessarily on the same team. No, no, no. He's, 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 he's looking for trouble. So that's a good one. That's a finished one. I also like how it's got a bit of noise. It's a little bit noisy. I really like the detail on their armor. Just look how, look how intricate it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got all this, all this little line work and it's filigree. Going, yeah. Hmm. So let's let's just generate this one. So we're gonna get a did that just uh, just so you know that one was off. Oh, that one was a group of warriors set out to defeat a powerful necromancer who seeks to conquer the world. Castle. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. So that's 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 what was going on there. So um, I didn't change the pose. My bad. Or the seed. Okay. Right. Genius. <laughs> So uh, let's just put the new pose in there, and it should stop in a second. There we go. Okay. I want to see what happens when we when we put guys on top of each oh. other, like they're lined up. Wait, what? what I don't think what? it's doing what we wanted it to do. It's it's, it's the first image of being inside a building. Oh, some females. 
It looks like a dance number. Yeah. That'll be the uh, that'll be the scenario. Throwing her. Is is the ex these words are random? Holy shit! I didn't expect it to do that. That's crazy. Uh, so what was it? A magic portal to the past. See, there you go. This is a magic portal to the past. So we'll just do it again and we'll get a different one. Interesting. I like that it actually had, like... They're pulling from a text file. They're pulling for, They're pulling from a text file I have. Right. Having, yeah. having different different outfits on every individual person is important, I think. Well, that, that helps. The more information you give it, the more likely that is to happen. Like, that's one of the reasons why I like the... Um, the wild cards, because you can put a lot of information into these, and then, like I said, look, see, it's, they're all different characters, you know. Yeah, they're different characters, but they're wearing <laughs> roughly the same type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's the thing. So what? What do you reckon it is? Um, Some dudes in a swamp exploring, looking. Exploring a swamp near a castle. Mm, let's see what it is. A group of adventurers venture yeah. into a mysterious and treacherous swamp to find a lost treasure oh, castle. Yeah. Close enough. Close. I was close. You were bloody <laughs> close. So here's the interesting part, though, right? I could say... Now, this is this is going to make you laugh, right? In fact, you know what? We'll break this into stages. So we're going to say sci-fi, because that's a different one. All right? <clears throat> and we can really make this go crazy. All right? So you we're going to generate... That that, back to that previous image, I like that they put that guy on top of a roof. It was good, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like they had to figure out a way to get him into that perspective without changing the camera angle. Right. Wow, look at this. Is she hanging from the ceiling? I think they're floating around. Uh, a world the where people can control technology with their minds. Oh, wow. That's... <laughs> yeah. So if I put a square bracket oh, here... And then I put another square bracket at the other end. And then if I put a pipe, in fact, I'll just copy this. Copy the wild card, put a pipe, and then I'll go back to fantasy. What that's going to do is every frame, it's going to switch between a random sci-fi and a random fantasy. Okay. So this is going to be crazy. It might actually, well, I don't think it's going to be too crazy. It does a great job, but it's going to make a very unique recipe. So let's see what it does. So at every image it makes, it's going to, every step, it's going to, yeah. They have to figure out a way to get them up there. So they're just. Yeah, look at that. Features. Look at this. He's just sitting up there. And she's they're just sitting there. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, do you still have the low angle? No. You can increase the, I'll put the low angle back. Low put angle. High angle. Put, put high angle. High angle, yeah. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, true, actually, because that's what that's what we set this up for. So this one was a mind reading device leads to invasion of privacy and then a quest to save a magical kingdom. Okay. Sure. <laughs> right. I would have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's actually another trick which I can that's which I can do. Exactly what I would have drawn with I'll that. Put a exactly. comma there, and I'll oh. say. Fantasy pipe. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. High -end. Yeah, we've done it. We've done it. That's what we were looking for earlier. Because now yeah. it's actually set up. So this is how we set the uh, pose up. Uh -huh. And now it's going to do it. We just have to tell it the angle that we want it <clears throat> to be looking at. Okay, so it says human like right, robots right. demand yeah. equal rights. A group of travelers journey to a faraway land to find a powerful sorcerer who can help them defeat a great evil. Interesting. So there is something else that we can do. We'll do one more like this, and then I'm going to switch back to the other model, because this is actually a photorealistic model. And if you notice, it's making nothing but cartoons lately. So what I'm thinking is, go back to anime. Oh. What's they're this? on the, they're on top of the castle, dude. There's giants again, though. They're all doing crazy poses. Look, <laughs> they're all ad libbing right now. It's like Look, it's Harry a crazy Potter. city. It's Harry, and... it's Harry Potter. Oh yeah, true. So it says a malfunctioning teleportation experiment leads to disaster. <laughs> a group of explorers set out to find a legendary city made of gold. 
Okay. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I know, right? So I'll switch it back to uh, da -da 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 -da, Dream Shaper. And then what I need to do is actually increase my model. Wonder, I'm beginning to wonder what the mishap and was. Glitch. Did, the, did, the, did the mishap actually make them giants? I don't know. I also think we should probably get the crazy face back because crazy face actually does a really good job of fixing these weird faces that we have. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's more more focusing on the face. Yeah, and if it's it just doesn't do well. It doesn't do well when you have um what do you call it? It doesn't do well when you have photo style. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it, like. Uh or like yeah i i need to get more resources see the thing is you can download them there's so many people that make all these cool resources and you can stack them together like we are here you just have to get the weights just right like glamour face. might not need wallop at the moment wallop is quite a realistic style but it does do illustrative stuff so we'll just yeah, keep it like... keep it real Seems like the only reason you're using like the crazy face works is because it's actually got face training. It does. It has eyes and mouths. It does a great job with that. So we just have to figure out like an actual high angle was perfect though. High angle was great. High angle. Uh, that put the perspective in that we wanted. Oh my goodness, what are we doing now? That's really cool. Whoa! They they're like superheroes that can fly or something they're right now. The Sailor Moon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think they can all yeah, fly. That's... Look, they're on a castle Sailor at the Moon. top of the bloody world, mate. That's Sailor Moon. Is... Yeah. A, a world where people can control the weather. A magic portal to a fantasy world. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay. So they're all Storm, basically. Yeah, 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 basically. Yeah. They're X-Men. See, if you type the word superhero in there, they'd all be wearing crazy outfits. Um, uh, do you know what? This one's actually pretty good. I'm actually going to do a re-roll on this one and make that I'm bigger. That, I'm digging that outfit on the girl in the back, right? This one. Yeah, that's the... Bubblegum style. The only, the only hey, do you know I'm what? You could put in there... Uh, what's the name of that show? Uh, Bubblegum Crisis. Is that like a... Oh, no, wait. That's sci-fi, please. Generated the same seed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same seed, yeah. So we're we going to regen the exact same image, but we're going to denoise it additionally for 0.4. So, because the thing is, I reckon this girl here is a little bit out of place. But as you've seen, you can just Photoshop her out in like one second. It's like one click. Well, yeah, um, she, shouldn't be, she shouldn't be touching that castle. She should be in front of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a number of ways you can fix that, you know. But the easiest way is just to get rid um this is why i think doing with three characters actually works really well so while it's doing that what we'll do is we'll cook up a new one with three because i know it's really good at doing three so if i go to my jojo's bizarre pose helper set um and then just scroll down da -da 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 -da, and um we can get one of the three pieces because these are really detailed and they're like flexing yeah so we'll go for pose triple which is high quality like the highest quality ones actually have names because obviously i've taken the time to go the extra mile so uh pose triple they're not automatic is what i'm saying uh because yeah. obviously i had to save some time and uh some of them have been done real fast they still work great though, so there's no problem. It's just that when they're done by hand like this, you can see the difference in the quality. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So right now, okay. First things first. Seven sixty-eight. Oh crap. Seven sixty-eight. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Hang on. <laughs> How big is that? I think oh my god! It's twenty-five hundred. Damn, dude, it's 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 twenty five hundred by eighteen thirty eight. What? That's high quality, all right. Let's go with twenty forty eight because that's the biggest it can possibly be. Okay, right. So here we go. We've got our super high quality scaled dudes. 
So I reckon we'll have uh, one like that. Make, oh crap. Make him just a little bit. In fact, wait a minute. I got an idea here. Oh no, I got to keep him on the screen. Okay, we got to play a bit of a uh, shuffle around here. So do that and then put this one in the middle. Oh man, this is going to be tricky. Might have to repose him. Just a little bit. Probably messed that up, but it should be okay. So put him there. And again, smaller. F in the chat for repose. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> professional, professional. We're professionals. Um, and uh oh. No, no, it's cool. I managed to get his joint back. Okay. And then maybe like this. Like there, maybe, I reckon. Yeah, so that could work. About there, maybe a little further out. Okay. So we've reposed. Give it a save. It's 52 now. And come back. So how are we doing? How did this one come out? Look at that. Oh, Look at that. Right. That looks good. Those eyes. Yeah, I, I Hang on. That one in the back, right? I need to blow that one up because that one came out. That was spectacular. Um, up we go to the top. Come on. I actually have faces now. That's the way I'm trying to get the scale. That's 100%. 100%. Wow. That one's a bit, that one's a bit of a blur, but yeah. she, it, it's, it's hard when it's further away. And like I said, it does really well with three and you can always go in with Photoshop and fix the mouth. You can in, in, enhance the eyes. You can do all that stuff. This is, this is a 1080p image. You know, they do pixelate if you zoom in. <laughs> People like think that, you know what I mean? They don't, they do. <laughs> like, oh, if I zoom in, I can see the pixels. Yep. <laughs> that's that's how JPEGs work. So if I just throw that one in there. It's like your pixels are showing. Your pixels are showing. <laughs> Put them away, man. God, cover them up. <laughs> we need to get some black squares up in here. All right. So let's give it a go. Oh, damn. I said two woman, two man. How about we say one man? Oh, wow. Is that a dude with a sword in the back? It's a monster. Uh, back him on. Uh, what? It's a giant with a huge sword. Is, and I think yeah, we got two, two heroes. Like watching him, watching him from a, from like a twins, player. spooky twins. From a cliff. Maybe he's the summoning. So you can just make up your own head cannon, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just come up with your own explanation. Of just come up with your own story, you know? We're going to stop this because it's trying to do like a super high res. I forgot to turn that off. Okay. <clears throat> now, there's actually more that you can do with this. So, for example, it says sci-fi fantasy here. Well, what if I said instead of... So I, what if, if I said retro futurism? Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll go with that for now. And all weather. That's another, that's a happen again. Yeah, it keeps on reading that one out. I think what I might do is just literally change it from. Uh, here we go. We can actually say scenario. Just scenario. Yeah. Not any particular theme. And now it's going to do one, you know, frame one, scenario, frame two, scenario, sci-fi, frame three, scenario, fantasy, and repeat. And I can take that further in a minute. But for now, that'll do. So we'll just go like this. And give it a, give it a blast. Do you know what? I think the angle isn't high enough. Whoa. I agree. Yeah, the angle on the image isn't high enough. Like, this needs to be further up. Uh, so does this. 
and I also yeah. think that's supposed to be whoops that's supposed to be further away too no 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 oh, okay make it definitely make it higher up though yeah yeah all right save that come back so what do we got then it looked good though that's pretty cool though that is cool because look see the rainbow it's too, bad it's, it's too bad it's a silhouette the rainbow's coming in from the glitch stick by the way that, the left figure is kind of wonky it's too bad we could probably remove that one and... well this one here yeah yeah remove that one this is pretty good pretty good just remove the third figure yeah it's actually not yeah. a bad idea so we'll get rid of it uh just no, drag no, no, it no, off no no just <laughs> too late it's gone she gone she gone hang on image. have we got the one where i just moved them yeah I, don't worry i've still got it i saved it so it's fine <laughs> it just means we can uh we can drop that extra figure in a minute if we need to i was saying like take that image and put it in your uh photoshop as a mover i think that would be like it's way to go with that one I thought it'd be interesting to show people how to remove him. Let's just say that. Yeah. Uh-oh. Why are they why are they floating above castles? What is this? Uh zombie outbreak in a city of clones. A world where people can control the weather and a magical portal to a fantasy world. Yeah. Looks a bit overcooked though. I reckon look, we could. Look, 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 she's got three legs. Yeah, she does. <laughs> See, you don't have to use the pipe. What I could do is I could actually put a coal on here, and I can put a coal on here, and I could say, like, I don't know, because uh, I've only got seven frames to play with. So I could say three. And that means the first three frames, it's going to render that one. And then the last ones, it's going to do the fantasy. But it's still doing retro futurism and sci-fi for the others. All right. So we got to do one last awesome image. Mm. Okay. And this is what I want to do. All right. I want to do, I want to do a group of like 10 characters. 10. From above, like bird's eye view, straight down. and having them like two groups of five facing each other and fighting that's difficult i reckon it's doable but i don't think i have enough skeletons in one thing at the moment i'd have to like okay. build a let's shitload do, of them let's do let's do two versus three they're face the, face them in fighting hmm two versus three yeah i've got five i've got five i could use as a base uh well, let me is... see if i can find that one uh four, well, we want to make four... it bird's eye view Make them small so we're viewing them from above and put them in like a grassy grassy battlefield uh futuristic battlefield uh, i'm just looking for the cleanest ones you know yeah uh, i think i think that would be one of the best demonstrations of this uh of this new perspective uh oh we could try it it's gonna be tricky uh well you know because i want to i don't want to like waste people's time ah i got an idea yeah 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 this will probably be the best way to do it so where'd he go where'd he go i just saw a good one i think it was that one ah that's not that great actually hang on what about that one nah it's, they're incomplete you see um <laughs> what the heck control the weather portal to a fancy world it seems to be giving me the same ones over and over again i don't know why I don't know why it just seems to be giving me the same uh macros there so let's just chuck that there get rid of that third person uh get rid of one man and uh generate another one. Oh wait damn oh wait <laughs> i didn't change the seeds so that should be interesting actually i just literally yeeted the dude and <laughs> his skeleton and see what it does the laugh of it just made two men <laughs> where people can control the weather again yeah it is do you know what i think it is i think that we have to just do four batch so then it'll actually go oh, through that's actually pretty cool that is actually pretty cool yeah damn that's actually pretty clean i think it was struggling a bit with the whole two women one man thing yeah because uh, there's a lot of information in this prompt now yeah well 
one thing's for sure, we're going to need Space Wall back. <clears throat> <laughs> so I'll put Space Wall back there. And then it's going to be two women in the Space War. <laughs> like that. <clears throat> and then instead of sci-fi, just sci-fi, scenario, scenario, just scenario. And then we'll change this to like five. <laughs> so it's only going to do the random one afterwards. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff you can do, but that, that should work. Um, we also need to decrease the 0.8. Johnson All right. Dassault. All right. Let's do last image for, while I'm here. Let's do, let's just. Let's just do full full quality. Let's jump right into it. Okay. All right. Max it's just it quality. takes a while, you know. Um, I can always edit out the, the the time it takes. So we've got time travel technology here. We're not live, <laughs> so we can we can travel to the future and see the results without waiting. Um, wait, what? Anime one group of two. What? What? I don't remember writing that. Anime one group of two. Oh, I guess that's where it gets cut off. Okay, that's fine. Group of two women. Yeah, it's just the way it's summarizing the prompt here. So, basically, we uh, Whoa, created. Is that a dragon? Yeah, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. That's cool. Dude, up or upscale that. That's fucking bad. Hang on, hang on. So, as you can see, this is what it's been making. So we've got this, this. Oh, that, I like that. I like her hairstyle. This. Uh, it's actually going through the different uh, random scripts now. Yeah, yeah. That's so crazy. it actually yeah. made it to the last one. So let's just see what that last one was. So it says a virtual reality, a virtual reality too world real. becomes too real, dragon <laughs> and a dragon terrorizes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, medieval God. kingdom. So let me just. Do you know what? I'm going to take away the randomizer, so that it actually just does that. Right, uh, put that there, da, 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 da. and then we we'll change this to a uh, yeah, the three is actually fine. I was going to change that, but that's actually fine. So the one on the right is actually wearing like a VR headset or something, yeah. Virtual reality world became too real, mate. And <laughs> um, we've also got the space war back, and it's quite strong, so god knows what it's going to do. Um, probably want to get the seed here. And just throw that in there and go. I haven't put the thing on yet. I just want to see what it does first. Oh, they're soldiers now, look. Well, oh, they're in yet. they're in space armor. It, the first image is always completely Whoa. Different than the last image. What? Whoa. What? <laughs> Whoa. The dragon. Oh, it's a tech dragon now. Holy shit. Oh, so that spaceship is called the dragon. Yeah, yeah, because that's probably the retro futurism sci-fi spread. Yeah. That's oh crap! That's it's on full batch. I need to turn that off. Stop! Stop! Hit the brakes! Hit the brakes! Um, let's change that to fantasy, and then match it so three there we go let's try that <sighs> try and get the dragon back you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's going to start off sci-fi in virtual reality world and then it's going to become too real and hopefully the dragon should form using what it looks like that's hell beast i, I recognize what that's from that's using hell beast and then it should stay there no it's turning back into tech I think I know why though. Uh, let's just remove Wallop, turn down Space War to six, and turn down Johnson Daisu to like four, and give that a go. I mean, uh, look, it's not bad. That's actually pretty the good. Going off. The alarm's going off in one minute. There's an alarm? Yep. You gotta go. You're gonna hear it. 
Yeah, and that that when the alarm goes off, that's your that's your thumbnail. Ah. Oh. Well, in that case, we're screwed because <laughs> <laughs> it's going to take one minute and thirty. Oh, dude. Oh, I think oh, it's starting dude, to look good though. Turn. 36. Wait, there it is. I just need to set the seed. Right, I'm making this one. This is the one. I'm going to generate. I'm going to make this one bigger. That one's the good one. I hear it. I hear it. All right, I'm going. All right, it's been real, man. It's been real. All right, in a bit. And he's gone. All right, so he's gone, but he won't be forgotten. So uh, I hope that's been helpful for you guys. I thought I'd do a little bit of a live demo on the open pose. Uh, the beginning of this video was a demo on how to get all this installed. So I actually removed everything, which is what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to go back in time. So you already saw what I'm about to do next. So this is actually the end of the video. But um, I hope you uh, learned some stuff. I hope it helps you to make some cool images. You can find all my work on Civit and uh, join on the Discord. There's loads of people that will be happy to help you out, I'm sure. Um, and uh, look out for these images because they'll no doubt be on someone's review page. I'll probably put them up on the Space War Laura demo page. So, but yeah, this has been fun. I'll see you soon.